Hello everyone and welcome to this top-down shooter tutorial. In this video we will improve animations to make the melee attack better and to make it more immersive. Open the character animation blueprint. We have to fix some moments in the animation graph. First we will blend poses only when the character is aiming. It will give us flexibility in working with other animations. That's why let's copy the blend space and let it blend per bone nodes. Open the rifle animation state machine and go to aiming. Then paste the copied nodes inside. Connect the aim animation pin to blend pose 0. Open the animation graph and delete the blend space and lay it blend per bow nodes. Next we don't need to apply the aiming offset for every animation. That's why let's cut and paste it into the aim state. Then open back the anim graph and connect the nodes. Check how it works. And it works not bad, but we have a problem with the melee attack animation. The player moves when this animation plays. To avoid this, open the rifle animation state machine. Firstly, now the melee animation is not looping. Set always reset on entry for melee state to fix it. Then select the transition from melee to default and add the start transition event on melee finished. Also for transitions from aiming and from default to melee, set on melee started. And in aiming we have another event for the start transition. That's why we will call this event handler in the event graph in on melee started. Next open the event graph and add on melee finished and on melee started events. In on melee started, call on aim disabled. As the next step we have to stop character movement. You can do it in the character blueprint, but I'm going to do it in the animation blueprint. Get the character's movement component. And when the melee started, set none as the movement mode. And when the melee finished, set walking as a movement mode. Check how the animation works. Does the player will not walk? until the melee attack is not finished. Next we have to change the animation speed and make this animation shorter to make the animation a little bit more dynamic. Open the Smash animation. Firstly let's cut the animation at the start. Delete everything before the 10th frame. And after the 45th frame. Now you have shorter animation, also if you want to make this animation faster, you can change the rate scale. And check how it works. It works well. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.